Hey guys, Joe back at it once again with some OCR FSMQ lessons and today we are doing some more general motion. So we're gonna today we're gonna learn about more key relationships. Last lesson we learned that uh, uh, if you differentiate displacement you get velocity and if you differentiate velocity you get acceleration. But today we're gonna be talking about two other key relationships. So uh, last lesson we learned that when the motion involves variable acceleration you must use our good friend calculus. And we can track the position of a, a particle as it moves along a straight line. So obviously we call displacement s in terms of t, velocity v in terms of t, and acceleration a in terms of t. Uh, the two more key relationships you need to be aware of. So they're the ones that we learned last lesson. If you differentiate s with respect to t, you get v. And if you differentiate v with respect to t, you get a. But what happens if we start with a and we want to get back to s? Well, funnily enough... You just integrate with respect to t. So it, if you integrate acceleration with respect to time, you get velocity. Similarly, if you integrate velocity, uh, you will get displacement. And that all works off velocity time graphs, um, if you're familiar with them. The area under the, uh, under the, uh, the graph is the displacement. And a couple of lessons ago, we talked about how integration is really, um, you know, the... the the study of area um, under graphs and under curves so that's where that comes from just if you're interested but yeah they're the two key points from today uh, if you integrate a you get v and if you integrate v you get s and you know, differentiate from last lesson but don't forget the c when you're integrating because obviously we need a constant of acceleration because they die when they're differentiated so Let's do an example here. The velocity of a particle is given by v equals 4t squared minus t minus 3. Uh, when is the particle at rest? So we know that uh, a, a particle is at rest when the v equals 0. So we'll set our equation equal to 0 and uh, we'll solve it. So 4t squared minus t minus 3 equals 0. And we'll solve that. I might factorise. It does. So we've got 4t plus 3 equals 0, or t minus 1 equals 0. So we know t equals minus 3 quarters, or 1. Uh, so we integrate our v uh, to get where s uh, for the second bit, because given that the particle is at s equals 6 when t equals 2, find the position of the particle after t seconds. So we integrate v with respect to t. So add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, and you end up with 4 thirds of t cubed minus a half of t squared minus 3t plus c. But don't forget that uh, that c because that is important. But we are given a little bit more information that s equals 6 when t equals 2. So if we set that equal to 6 and put a, t, a, a 2 through, we'll filter out with c. And we'll get c equals 10 thirds. So finally we write s equals 4 thirds of t cubed minus a half of t squared minus 3t plus 10 thirds. So that's an awful awful equation but one to track our displacement and if you wanted to you could differentiate v and, and get your a but let's do another example uh, there we go that's just animated weirdly uh, the acceleration of a particle is given by a equals 2t you were told that the particle is initially at s equals minus 3 and moving with a velocity of 1 meter a second find expressions for the displacement and the velocity so a equals 2t. Remember, if we integrate that a, we can get with v. There you go. Like that. Don't forget, you see, add 1 to the power divided by the new power, so it'll be uh, 2t squared over 2, but 2 over 2 is 1, so we just cancel that away and call it t squared. Plus c, but we're given some information that's initially moving at uh, 1 meters uh, per second. So if we set with t equal to 0, uh, we can set with v equal to 1. There you go. Re remember, initially means when t equals 0, so v equals 1. When t equals 0, uh, like that. So you see must equal 1, and then you can rewrite that as v equals t squared plus 1. Now, we want a, an equ uh, expression for the displacement, so we integrate with v equation, and we'll get that. Don't forget, you see, add 1 to the power divided by the new power as well. And we're given some information that initially at s equals minus 3. So if we set that equal to minus 3 and put 0 through, we can filter out with c. So we'll see in this case is a minus 3. And then we'll rewrite the equation with when you see in there, like that. And that is that. That is all you need to know about general motion. Yeah, that's as hard as it's going to get. 
but uh, don't worry about it. it it's integrating probably is the harder of the two uh, parts of calculus but with practice you'll get used to it and uh, you'll be brilliant at it so i hope you found this helpful please leave a like if you did uh, comment down below your feedback uh, if you did find it helpful and if you have any more questions leave them down below in the next lesson i think we're going to move on to trigonometry so it's a bit of uh, gcse revision because we're going to be doing soccer tour uh, cosine rule sine rule all stuff like that. The, the new stuff with that is the trigonometric identities, but we'll get on to that later. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I shall see you in a couple of more days for the next lesson. See you later.